Okay, so we're gonna go over how to install your Canon PowerShot G15 camera onto your microscope. You just need three parts for this. The camera, this microscope adapter, which I've pre-assembled for you, and this little Allen key. The first step is to take the thread cover off the camera. So this little button on the front, you just push this button here and twist this thread cover off. This has gotta come off or this part won't go on. Uh, you just put this in a drawer, you're not going to use it anymore. Next, you take your adapter, this big uh, hole here is just going to twist right onto the camera. So you can put this down, twist it, and it'll click right onto the camera. If you have trouble, just uh, start it at a couple different spots. You have to kind of get it at the right spot, but it'll just twist and click right on there. It doesn't screw on. Uh, and it doesn't require a lot of force, it just clicks right on. From there, you're just going to pull an eyepiece out of your microscope and just insert it right in the microscope, just like that, and it's going to sit there. Okay, so to use this, you have an on-off switch right here. So the first step is to turn the camera on. Okay, now it's very important when you first turn it on, you need to, the first step is always to zoom in to the end of the optical zoom. So this little button here has a toggle on it and that's your zoom. You can see right now the field isn't filled, so I just zoom in and I get a completely filled field of view. So step one is always zoom all the way in. Here you might need to make an adjustment particular to your actual microscope. If you're looking at the image on the screen and it's not evenly illuminated, like you have a hot spot in the center, the corners are a little darker, you need to just adjust this focal distance here. So this is where you take your little Allen key, stick it in this uh, spot right here with the arrow. You would loosen that. And while it's on the microscope, just move this in and out a little bit while you're looking at the screen. So you would loosen this screw while this is on the microscope move this in and out a little bit and you're going to get to a spot where the image becomes evenly illuminated at that point you'll just lock this down so that's the only adjustment you need to make that's microscope specific from there you always want to be on the camera operating on this P this program mode the only choice you really have for the camera is to set the exposure or you know the brightness and that's just done while you're in the P mode with this little dial here if you twist it plus one plus two plus three that makes the image brighter minus one minus two minus three makes the image darker so you can snap an image if you don't like the exposure or the brightness turn it up or down right here and re-snap it one thing to be aware of is that the brightness of the live image does not always correspond perfectly to the brightness of the captured image. So sometimes you need to capture a picture first, then determine if you're going to change the exposure. The camera comes with a remote control. It's going to be much easier for you to take pictures by pressing the remote control than it is by pressing the actual button on the camera. The remote control just plugs right into this side panel here and then you can just operate the camera by pressing the remote control that way you're not shaking the camera by pressing it here so in review once you get this mounted on here slid into your microscope set the distance turn the camera on zoom all the way in operate in the P mode and then the only adjustment you have is the exposure brightness and you're ready to take pictures thanks